So why is uh, Versant database technology the smartest choice for massive multiplayer gaming? Uh, that's uh, actually an easy question. Uh, really what it comes down to is the low latency requirements of a massive multiplayer game. Uh, unlike most applications, uh, massive multiplayer games have this, you know, are very sensitive to response times um, back in the server in order to give the, the adequate experience to the, uh, to the game player, to the end user. And that's happening under extremely large concurrency because you've got lots of people that are playing the game at the same time. And all of that concurrency under low latency um, is generally an issue for traditional database technology. Um, Versant is, is different than traditional technology in that uh, it provides more of a balanced uh, client-server architecture where uh, it does a lot of caching uh, of the database persistence models up into the game server space and then allows you to get that sort of low latency response um, without having to uh, make round trips to the database. So it offloads a lot of the activities that normally would go all the way back to the database server and then back up again to your client. So it, it, it does a lot of caching and allows the higher throughput, higher concurrency. Uh, also, the approach that the ODBMS takes is different than traditional technology. Um, typically, you're dealing with models uh, written in C++ uh, in, in your game servers and in relational technology you have to break those down and you've got to push them back into storage structures that, uh, that uh, are reflective of the, the way relational databases handle management of disk blocks uh, back and forth into memory, etc. Whereas uh, an object database te technology stores the models that you have in C++ as the same representation in the underlying storage. Uh, and so therefore, it, it's really much more efficient at how it is that it goes and takes those things, retrieving them from the server and bringing them back out to the memory space. So you can do pretty interesting things like, um, say you have a, um, a player that's in a particular zone, uh, and so there's a sort of a circle of relevance between him and um, some surrounding players and surrounding um, uh, artifacts that are in the game. And those things that are, that are related in that particular zone uh, can be then associated with a, a, a particular physical node in the Versant database, which can distribute all of this information across lots of physical nodes. And so when you, you want to do an activity with that particular user that involves loading some things out of the database, you just have to grab that one user and make a request to the database, and it goes and it gets all the related information that's relevant and sucks out into the cache space. That way all the operations that are happening on it from that point forward are low latency, real time, um, in effect, uh, operations. And so your algorithms naturally look ahead into where it is that your players are going and things like that. And you put the logic in place to preload and pre-cache that stuff as you move along. And it's done in a highly efficient manner uh, in the object database, um, allowing you to, to, to store that information and retrieve it in what's typically a much smaller footprint than you would find with relational technology, which is just less efficient and how it is that it stores the information. So, you know, if, if you were running a server farm of relational databases, you may, um, you know, you, you may have 16 CPUs, for example, running your database server. But you can probably get away with the same kind of load using the Versant database with, uh, you know, say, four CPUs. Um, so it tends to be a significant reduction in the hardware requirements. And so, obviously, that leads to uh, more profits for you. Yeah.